Hello everyone, my name is Zephyr and it is good to be back. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, welcome to Quick Review, a series where I cover mostly Transformers but really anything quickly. And speaking of Transformers, we're going to be covering that big boy, well the second big boy in the back on my shelf, MP10 Masterpiece Optimus Prime. I have a bit of a dilemma because Optimus Prime is not even in my top 5 favorite Transformers yet I keep finding myself buying Optimus Primes like crazy. But seeing that this is my first ever masterpiece, I figured, you know what, I might as well go with the one character that you can never go wrong with and I went with MP10 Optimus Prime, the masterpiece that everyone swears by. And now I finally have one. And I got the complete set. I have got the figure, which honestly I just wanted Prime himself. But I got him sealed for a reasonable price. And he came with all of his stuff that he should come with. And I'm happy I did because he has some pretty neat tricks. So we're going to be starting with his accessories. And very fittingly, we're going to be taking a look at Roller and the trailer. And he also comes with a little spike with Wiki, which is really cool. But yeah, not a whole lot to write home about. It's pretty much your standard trailer and Roller that you'd expect from a G1 Optimus Prime. And speaking of G1, for a while now, I've been wanting a really good interpretation of G1 Optimus Prime, which is weird because growing up, I never really gave a rat's ass about G1. Hasbro has officially indoctrinated me. They have made me into a G1-er. Okay, enough stalling. Time to finally take a look at the figure himself. And right out of the gate, there was something cool that I found out about this figure. You can fold up his rifle and store it in his little backpack and i guess this is the reason why some of his rifles and like some iterations of the optimus prime figure are able to fold up to like try and replicate this but yeah you're able to store it in his back which is really sick and you're not even able to tell that he has a gun back there but now getting into transformation i sped it up assuming that Everyone watching this video has a MP10 because he is super common. He's probably one of the most common Masterpiece figures, but there's also countless other better reviews on this figure already, so I'm not going to beat around the bush. Anytime I do a transformation, unless I'm the first person reviewing it, I'm just going to speed it up. And getting them into truck mode, I can see why they call this the Masterpiece line, because holy crap, this looks like it jumps straight out of the screen. A lot of people will complain and criticize that, oh, the silver stripe going along his side isn't accurate, he's supposed to be all red. Honestly, I like him better when he has the silver stripe, but I do see where people are coming from. The problem with G1 is that it was very inconsistent. There were times where he had the silver stripe and there were times where he didn't. And it seems like a very easy fix. They could have just gave us an MP10 without the silver stripe and that would have made all those people happy. I'm not sure if there already is one, but it seems like an easy fix. But unfortunately, they probably won't get a chance to because the Masterpiece line is ending. And the last official Masterpiece that we're going to be getting is the God Jinrai figure. But fear not, because there is still one more accurate G1 Optimus Prime to look forward to, and it is in the Studio Series 86 line, the Commander Class Optimus Prime. I was really excited to make this video because this is my first ever Masterpiece figure that I've ever gotten, so I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little review of MP10 Masterpiece Optimus Prime. So I'm going to use this second portion of the video to address a couple of things. So call it a channel update, if you will. And the first thing I'm going to be addressing is why haven't I uploaded any videos in the past month? And if you watch my shorts, you probably already know why, but it's because I was on vacation. Or at least I was supposed to be on vacation because things didn't really end up turning out that well. You see, 
my family and I were supposed to take a whole month vacation to Argentina. But right before we could go, my grandma ended up getting sick and we had to take her to the hospital. And she's still recovering as of now, as of me making this video. And any of you who are typing in the comments, oh, I'm sorry, I hope your grandma feels better. Thank you. It is very appreciated. But yeah, it was a stressful time for everybody. And it kind of ruined all of our plans, but we uh, we tried to make the most of it anyway. I still I still had fun. I still went to a convention or two, as again you see and you seen in my shorts if you even watch my shorts. But I also wanted to take a a little bit of time off from the channel, or or at least making bigger videos, so that way I can focus on this big project that I'm working on. And, again, if you watch my videos, you probably already know what this project is. And, um, relax. This video is not part of it. <laughs> or is it? It's not. But I am, of course, talking about the ARG. I'm not going to be going into too much detail about the ARG, and I'm not even, from here on out, I am not going to be telling you which videos are part of the ARG and which ones aren't, because, well, that's part of the ARG, that's the whole point, for you to solve the mystery and to figure out which videos are connected and which ones aren't, but, uh, yeah. I will say, it's a shame that MatPat stepped away from game theory and uh the theorist channels when he did because it would have been so fun trying to mess with them and trying to throw them for a loop with this ARG and it's just really unfortunate timing but it's something that I've been brainstorming for a while now and it's something that I predict will uh will bring a lot of uh will bring a lot of people to the channel so if you're a fan of creepy things, I got a lot in store for you. And it's going to be fun. So if you made it this far, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. We are pushing 500 subscribers, which is more than I ever thought I would get when I made this channel in the first place. And I'm thinking about doing something big. I might actually have to do a giveaway or something, which is something I never thought I'd have to do. And it's just crazy. Usually people do giveaways when they have like a thousand subscribers or like thousands upon thousands when they're about to hit a hundred thousand subscribers. But I don't know, man. I'm just thankful for all of you guys who like my content enough to subscribe. And it's just really humbling. So I want to give back. So thank you very much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Do all that stuff the algorithm likes to help promote the channel and get it out to as many viewers as possible to help the channel grow.